have a lot of stuff to talk about. So much. And what we learned was that we need to make sure I have our visa ready to go. You have to have permission to go into China. And so the China costs... More than a passport. That more passport. True. So China will charge us $137. It's good for 10 years. 10 years. And if you don't get your visa and if you don't pay, you have to do what we do and you're only allowed to spend 144 hours into China. And with that 144 hours, you have to go to a third country. You can't go from America to China for 144 hours. You have to go America, China, a third country, or then, a third country, China. And then come back to China, then they will let you get into China. Yes. So once we got all that settled out, we went to Hong Kong, which uh, our last segment was posted about Hong Kong. Yes. So we're not going to talk about Hong Kong, we're going to talk about China. So we finally made it into the airport. Yes. And the first thing we came up to was our driver. Our driver, who had found us when we went to the airport the first time. I guess we look like lost Americans. Correct. A very tenacious. Yes. Very. And, but he did, he did help us uh, to navigate through the airport. Yes, because we couldn't find where we were supposed to go. Correct. So he, he was a great help. So I kind of like... He helped us at least we can get his service sure so he was all ready or his company had our name because they took a to picture go. of our itinerary so they knew what flight we're coming in on exactly and his passport so they knew his picture and his name correct and that and it's okay you, you'll notice everywhere you go that they will take a copy of your passport a hotel does that um, everybody does that. Disneyland does it. Disneyland does that because they can't duplicate your passport because it's all those uh, fancy stuff. It's just a way of they do things. And they will fingerprint you too. Yes. As soon as you get off the flight, you have to be fingerprinted. The first time you go into China. The second time, we just scanned our passports and it said okay. Yes. So our fingerprint was already in the system. And then when you're going through customs and immigration, when they look at your passport, you then have to scan your fingers again and do a photo Correct. So they're always taking, you know, copy of passports. So don't think, well, we gave our identity. That's just not how it works in, in, in China. It's, it's okay. So, but we finally, we got our driver. He had our name. So we uh, got into uh, the car. And the car is it's like more like the luxury Uber um, limousine. I think equivalent to that, but it was like a nice minivan. Yeah, nice minivan, black nice minivan. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to make sure you negotiate the price. Those black, I want to say black cars, yes. are not taxi cabs. They're not sanctioned by China to drive. They're independent um, operators. Operators, drivers, just like Ubers. They're independent drivers. So they don't follow the rules like the China taxi cab. So you need to make sure you negotiate the price uh, uh, before you get in the car and they do swipe your credit card for us I had two credit cards one I use for um, Hotel. hotels for reservations for all that stuff then I use another credit card I use for spending money um, to buy things in China taxi cabs like those so any given time I can cancel that card and still does not reflect my uh, affect my my reservations right and they might put a large hold the hotel Correct. might and they and might so put a large you hold. can't use that money so it's wise to have two credit cards so I use just two credit cards so um, then we got in the car and they try to upsell us <laughs> they do she was very tenacious she asked us what we're doing where we came from and we said we're going to Disneyland we just went to Hong Kong Disneyland and she said no no you just did it it's the same thing you don't want to do that come with me I'll I'll be your personal guide I'm from Shanghai I know it's safe I speak the language she told us that 12 times. She made him download an app, WeChat. 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 Oh, and is it WeChat? I, so, I think so. Um, it's, it's a popular app. Too. It's a popular here in America, too. Oh. Um, it's WeChat, and it's pretty popular in China. I encourage you to download it there, because that's how you communicate a lot with the hotels mm -hmm. in there. And they have uh, CR codes, and you uh, communicate directly to the hotel you're staying at. So in case you get lost, instead of giving them a call, Instead of uh, you have that English barrier, you can just chop in WeChat and they direct you to the right location. So I will have that link uh, to that uh, WeChat um, 
um, at the uh, at our website okay. so you can just take a look at it and it's great for payments however you need to make sure you upload your payments prior uh, before you go to a foreign country why is that China has a lot of restriction on the websites yes Wi-Fi is not dependable and so you correct. have to change to your phone to international network correct and we'll talk about that later to yeah. what happened to me <laughs> So, but no, you'd have to make sure you have all your finances and it uploaded in WeChat. It's a great opportunity to use it. Mm -hmm. It's another method of securing your money, your credit cards, and all that stuff. And it's a big thing they use in China. They just, just like uh, uh, Samsung Pay, uh, WeChat is a big thing. Or, or the Cash there. App. Or the Cash App was another big thing. So we finally got in, in our black luxury. Minivan. Minivan. All right. They, they took us to the hotel. Yes. And what did you think about the hotel? The hotel at first, from the street, when they pulled us into the parking lot, it looked very small. It was the Marriott, so I wasn't really expecting a small hotel. It was called like International something, tourists. Mm -hmm. But when you walk in, it is big and it's beautiful and the hallways go on forever and ever. And it's gorgeous inside. It is And the first thing we saw was the Mickey pig. Mouse. Oh, get it. The pig. The pig. Because why was the pig there? It is the year of the pig in 2019. Yeah. So it's a year of the pig. Then right to the right hand side, you'll see a uh, little tent. You can get those tents for the kids so they can sleep at the Marriott. Um, and our Marriott room was, was gorgeous. It, it was okay. It was okay, yeah. It, you know, um, again, we're not there for the hotel and we were there for sightseeing. So we, uh, and the price is, is the same. If, if you buy it here in America or in China, I really recommend stay with uh, like the, uh, main brand hotels in China, like the Hilton, um, Marriott, we're a big Marriott font, so we got a lot of points out of this. Um, plus, um, they have great customer service. They do, they try to help you a lot. A lot, yes, granted there's a little language barrier, language barrier but they get out the phones, we get out the phones, mm -hmm. we translate it back and forth, and we always manage to. And there's some employee that can understand enough of what we want. They but just yeah. pass us from employee to employee. So we finally got in, we get settled in, we got hungry, we went to the food court. The or restaurant. The restaurant, mm -hmm. is, which is nice. It was nice. And I'm telling you right now, the manager there, <laughs> the manager there, he wants things done right. And that's, he was going off right and left because things were not getting done right. He was very intense. Yes. This woman was like 80 and she's sweeping and he just yells at her. Correct. In front of everybody. But in and she doesn't understand that's the culture and that's how they speak loudly and you know harshly harsh loudly and that's just the culture um and all that stuff but the food was good the food was good they mm -hmm. had a uh, different menu you order from an ipad they Correct. don't have a menu a paper menu that can open you have to look on the ipad mm -hmm. and they have one section that was called western food so i got a club sandwich because i knew it was safe and fries and but they had exotic things. I looked at their Shanghai specialties and it was like eel or fried frogs or, or toads or toads. Mm -hmm. So I Gosh. had fried chicken, it was real spicy fried chicken, little chicken nuggets fried, it was really good. So we finally got our, uh, our, our meal and uh, then we went back to, to get our tickets. Yes. Now I really encourage you to get the Disneyland tickets at your hotel. Now keep in mind that Marriott is part of the Disneyland um, resorts, um, um, part of the Disneyland resorts, yeah, so like, they get the same discounts and all that stuff. And you might be scared because they don't give you physical tickets. They just write you a paper receipt and that's all you have, but they put it under your passport. So it's very secure, it's very safe and reliable. And something else to note when you're buying your tickets is Shanghai Disneyland does not give discounts for multiple days. So here in California, you get a cheaper ticket per day if you buy three or four days. There, it's the same price no matter how many days you go. So just buy it one day at a time. And you bypass the tickets at yes. lines in Disneyland. So of course, you go through the security. Once mm -hmm. you go through the security, you go to the gate where right. you just entered in. Just as if you had a ticket. Mm -hmm. So you just present your passport. One day we put it under my passport, another day under his, and they just say two. And then they take your picture just like they do here. They take your picture, give you your paper ticket. So if I was going to Marriott, who would I see? You would see the concierge. Correct. Now, they also will take a picture of your photo, uh, your passport, and they send that to Disneyland yes. along with the ticket too. So again, they're taking a copy of so they know 
uh, who you are. Yeah. So that's our favorite spot. Concierge. Yes. Yes. And they, always, always go there first about everything. Yes. They get us taxis. They, they're very helpful. And we'll talk about how we did that too. So we finally arrive at Disneyland. At Disneyland. Yes. And I'll give you a quick, a quick video after she's done talking, of course, <laughs> about our trip to video right after this. Here we are, our second day in China Disneyland. And we have a lot of good tips that we want to share with you right now. The first tip is make sure that you grab your tickets at the Marriott because you go bypass the lines and the ticket line. However, you still need to go through security gate. But once you go through that, you just go right to the entrance, show your passport, and it's your ticket is already there. So we bought our tickets at Marriott because Marriott always takes good care of us. What do you think about purchasing the tickets? It was so easy, very easy. You just show your passport, it shows your tickets, and then they give them to you. Then you must grab something else. It's called a Disney Passport for China, and you, you have to get a stamp of every single ride that you go to. So it looks like this, and inside there's 14 stamps you need to collect, and then you go to each spot and you collect your stamp, and then when it's full you turn it in and you get a special trading pin. So, so, I, so we're trying to accomplish all that today. This is our second day here. And also, of course, we always stop at Starbucks. Yes. So you must stop at Starbucks, get caffeinated. Because the hotel does here. not have coffee. Yes. No coffee at this hotel. And what else? On the first day, we went to the Cinderella Castle. Uh, and that was a, a home run. It's a storybook castle. Here in Shanghai, it's a storybook castle because more than one princess lives there. Yes. And we got, and uh, we'll upload all the pictures, uh, all the uh, Disney characters. We'll do that right now. Then we did what? Fireworks. Fireworks. Yes. Okay. Now the fireworks is not are not the ones that we used to see. Is that correct? Correct. It's an amazing show. It's about 20 minutes, but it's more lights and music, and then accents of fireworks. So if when you go to the Cinderella Castle, you can upgrade to your seat, and we got the center stage. Oh, they're the best seats, and, and it wasn't crowded? No, it was it's not. Awesome. So it's worth the upgrade. Yes, we'll be paying some type of money. It was like $22. $22 for the upgrade. But what was the total meal, do you remember? Oh, it was like $200. But that was two people. So if you have any questions about it, I, I instant message us or leave a, a message down below in this video and we'll try to help you answer all your questions. Now, how about the Pirate of the Caribbean? Uh, Pirates of the, the Caribbean. Caribbean, oh my, it is amazing. It is the best ride ever, the yes. best. And, and I'll show you the nice, a lot of clips and pictures next. What do you think about that? Was it neat? It was so neat. It was, it's very evident that this is the newest Disneyland. Yes, it is. Everything is the most upgraded. And we rode the, we ride the ride twice. And that's how much we like it. It's a must see attraction. A must. Yes. If you come to Shanghai, you have to ride the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Now, if you have kids here coming with you, it's a plus to visit the place that you take pictures with all the Avengers characters. Oh, Marvel Universe. And that was another great place. Yes, yeah, we saw a real life group, baby group. Yeah, we did. And so, go ahead. All the characters said, oh, we know him. Yeah, that's funny. So, we're going to update, uh, we're going to uh, uh, take a look at the next uh, photos. So, is, is that neat or what? It was so neat. So and, they, and they speak English. Yes, they do. I think they're mostly like from Britain. They have English accents. They're hired actors, and so they speak English very well, and they don't speak Chinese. No. So. Yeah. So so we got a picture of Spider-Man. We got a picture of uh, what's the other character? Strange. Oh, Doctor Strange, Natasha Strange, or something like that. Hey, we don't know what the characters are. I am so sorry, but when you see it in the pictures, you know exactly what we talked about. Then we move over to the Mickey Mouse. Oh, you meet Mickey Mouse. You meet Mickey Mouse. It's worth the wait. It's good yeah. photo ops. Apparently, Mickey Mouse loves this girl right here because he pushed, pushed me away. He did this. Yes. So, I, I, here, take a look at these pictures. 
You got lucky. Mickey Mouse loves you. Of course he does. Okay, so this is it for right now. We'll get, keep updating. And um, thank you so much for listening to our blog. And we'll have more details about China and throughout this video. All right. Hey, see you guys later. We're live. Bye. Bye. So are you about to say what? I was. So Shanghai Disneyland is the newest Disneyland. And it is built in the most populated country, one of the most populated yes. countries in the world. So they anticipate having a very large amount of people. And during their peak season, uh, we've watched videos before we went and people stood in line for like an hour to get into the park. So fortunately, we didn't have that issue. However, the park is made for a large capacity of people. Right. So to walk from the bus to just the entry gate of what they call Disneyland, Disney Town, which is downtown Disney, it was a mile. It correct. Literally a mile. So a tip, or two kilometers. So a tip, if you don't want to take... Now, the Marriott did provide a bus every yes. half an hour mm -hmm. to Disneyland. Now, if you don't feel like walking that mile, you can take a taxi cab it's, from there. And how much we we pay? About American dollars, it was like $3. About $3. Two or $3. And it's a lot closer yes. to the thing. So you think about it, you can spend extra, what, three, maybe four or five bucks? It wasn't that much. Yeah, and, $3 at moment. But before you leave the hotel, Make sure you grab the address or the business card of the Marriott. Yes. And that's a great way to present that to the taxi cab. This is where I need to go back home mm -hmm. on that. And a lot of times um, when you go to our favorite concierge, concierge they will write your that you're going destination in Chinese and they will hand carry that to the taxi cab. And a note about that. So their addresses are a little bit different, I think, because mm -hmm. whenever we had given a taxi driver an address, they pulled us to the back of a building or a street away. And we had to look on Google Maps, and we only had to walk like a block, Correct. maybe. So I think their addresses are a little bit off. Yes. So you won't be going to the exact place unless they know. Like Disneyland is a large place, they know what to do. But we went to an electronic store, we had them take us to a specific Starbucks mm -hmm. and to a specific other place. and. They just took us like a block from it. Yeah. Always, always <laughs> use your Google Maps. Yes. And you'd be surprised because you can look down on your phone and, okay, the tax cab is, is going the right direction. And it, and it helps build confidence in yourself too. Okay, we're going the right directions. We're good. And just a good way of knowing where you're at. Yes. Um, on that. One taxi driver drove us right past the sign that said Disneyland exit. He did. And took us to some strange street and figure street. it out yes so we like we have that and we told them we're going to disneyland we did do a um, google translate a google translate disneyland then um he took us finally took us there um so that's another lesson learned is make sure that uh, you have google maps in front of you and it did work every single incident we use it it did yeah. work. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you get out at the back of the building and you need to find it you at least have the google map and you can just walk Correct. It tells you step by step where to go. Yeah. So so we got to Disneyland. Mm hmm And, and past the okay, so again I can't stress this enough for the whole Disneyland. It's made for maximum capacity. So even the lines for the rides, the ride can only be a ten minute ride, but you're gonna have to walk a good portion of it to get through the line. Correct. It's made for a long line. And always um, you know, for our example, uh, like she said, we didn't buy tickets every day. We, for example, we came, it was just rainy days. Mm -hmm. So one day we bought a ticket, the next day um, the gentleman said wait to buy tickets the following day and that's why you don't want to buy several tickets all at right. once. Right, because you may not use it. Mm -hmm. and, and there's and no you, discount for multiple tickets. So correct, why and you it? can't get a refund. Right. Um, so every day just go in, just purchase a ticket, look at the weather. The night before, purchase night it. The night before, yes. Mm -hmm. And that helps them to get the buses uh, lined yeah. up too. So it just gives them a courtesy the night before and all that stuff. Mm -hmm.